This weekend is packed with high-flying acts soaring into Robbins Air Force Base for the Thunder Over Georgia Air Show. Ashlyn Webb spoke with people of all ages at the show, from those watching for the first time to others coming back for their 30th year. That was crazy. Jacob Tarver works as a police officer at the base and sees aircraft fly in and out of Robbins every day. But today is different. He brought his family, his wife, three-year-old daughter, and five-year-old niece. I really wanted the kids to be able to watch the giant flaming truck, all the jets that are taking off, the Thunderbirds, all the cool little aircraft. And today is Tatum and Adeline's first time attending an air show. You want to see, you want to see the airplane? I want to see the airplane. Five-year-old Tatum says her favorite part is planes going fast. <laughs> Once planes began to take off, they both sat in amazement. I remember when I was a kid, I went to an air show and I wanted her to have the same experience. For Jacob Nance, the air show has become an annual event. Nance says he can't even count how many air shows he's gone to at Robbins, but he says the event has become a tradition to attend. It's like, it's like coming back home. It feels like home because Nance served in the Air Force for 23 years, from 1945 to 1968. Throughout the event, he named off each plane that went by. I went to F-15. But his favorite aircraft? The F-22 perform and the F-15. They're great airplanes. Among this weekend's attractions are the Thunderbirds this year's big performance, the F-22 Raptors, and the Black Dagger Parachute Team. In Warner Robins, Ashlyn Webb, 13 WMAZ News. Wow, I'm sure that's such an awesome experience for that veteran. We appreciate your service for all of our men and women who do serve. Now the Thunder Over Georgia Air Show, it continues today. Gates, they open up at 9 a.m. and the show begins at 10 a.m.